Hi, it's Paul Haddad and in this video I'll show you how you can get results of your circuit. But before we start the video, I would like guys to ask you, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, that will help me to understand if you are enjoying the content that I'm creating. So let's go to the video. Again, I have the same script we started the previous video and the name of this script is read results circuit. Here guys, it's basically very simple. Let's stop here. Oops. And then here, right click, debug. And then let's look at circuit methods, DSS circuit. And then you can see that you we can get, let's say all bus BMAG. So for all buses, so we have here 41 elements, 41 results. Let's see one thing here. DSS, circuit, uh, all bus names. When I get the bus names, I get just 16 elements, buses, and here 41. Why is that? Because actually what we are getting here are results for each node of each bus. So if you go here and change bus, to node, oops, you have 41 uh, elements, right? So you can see that they agree. Source bus dot one, phase one of the element circuit has this voltage, you know, like uh, element nine is bus 633, phase one, nine is the voltage for that specific uh, node of that bus, right? So if you want to do like create your own profile, get all the, you know, all the voltages across your circuit for a power flow and, and, and you know, get the voltage that outside the range, let's say outside 105 and make sure what, what are those buses, you can use those two lists here to, to get those, those information that, that, if that, that, that information, if that makes sense. Right. So, uh, yeah. That's all I have uh, for for that. Just before it, let's just me show you one thing here. Circuit total powers. That's one that will print something for you. So you see here that we have total powers. It's actually the power that uh, are flowing from your circuit element. That makes sense. That's why they are negative. Again, OpenSS assumes that powers are positive when entering then the element right so that's why we have negative but here is interesting i don't know the unit is a kw it's a w what is that so again i suggest to you to look at the results and open the ss to make sure you understand what this means uh, for instance you can get like losses and losses it's it's, it's like the numbers it's uh, i mean one two three four five uh, so it's probably watt and bar, right? It's not kilowatt. So just check that with OpenSS to see if you, you get the idea. So let me print something here cool that you can have when we when using this script. Let me stop it. And then total power R minus uh, po total powers. I'll get the first element of that list, which is the active power. And kW and minus uh, the second element, which is the, which is the reactive power, and k k var. So when I run it, you see the print here, which which is very nice, right? So that's that's all I'd like to to actually show you guys again. Explore the circuit methods and see all what you have there that you can use in your project. Before I leave, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you in the next video.